usually it's us leading these kind of interviews, but we thought if we've got you both together, it'd be a bit more fun if we've got you two asking the questions. You look slightly terrified. Happy about this? No, I'm all right, mate. <laughs> Could be a new job, innit, if I'm good? Okay, right, well, I'm here just to mediate. So, Jack, we'll let you go first, uh, and one by one. Questions just about you as people, players. I'm asking him first, about playing yeah. for Man City. So, yeah, take it away, Jack, all yours. Ready, are. What were your first impressions of me? I kind of saw, I knew I was a funny guy. Uh, and, uh, yeah. It was, uh, was the truth as well. He's uh, really funny and uh, jokes a lot. And um, I think this is also really important to to just don't uh, think too much or whatever and just uh, be yourself and to uh, have fun, laugh and uh, yeah, and to enjoy. I think that's important. And is it one of those things that you just clicked straight away when you look back? <laughs> or is it a bit of a slow burn? No, 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 we clicked straight away, but like, Nah, do you know what, actually? We're not actually really, like, mad the same, but we just have, like, the same type of banter, you know, like, like winding people up and... <laughs> uh, so, like, off the pitch, you know, that's what we tend to do. And then, um, oh, yeah, I think, you know, we have a good relationship on the pitch as well, so... I've had this before in my career, you know, if you, if you have a good relationship with someone off the pitch, it tends to, you know, go on the pitch as well, so... How different do you think your experience at Man City would be? without Erling? I wouldn't have a treble, would I? <laughs> nah, um, no, obviously, I think, like, you know, in my first season here... What, do you mean, like, football-wise? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, it, it works in two ways, doesn't it? Obviously, you've got this friendship that, yeah... No, I think the way he well. plays is, like, it's like a match made in heaven, like, for him to play for City, because in my first year here, you know, I think that's what everyone says, like, oh... <laughs> Like, no disrespect to everyone, all the other attacking players that were there in my first season, but everyone was like, imagine if we had, like, a striker that could, like, you know, just... Not, obviously, no one was expecting him to score that much, but um, just that to prolific, put the ball in yeah. the back of the net, yeah. And then, you know, last year, he was obviously unbelievable and, um, you know, played a massive part in what we'd done, so... Um, yeah, you know, there was a lot of important players, but Erling, obviously, is, you know, one of the... One of the main players, especially from last season, that made us um, that successful. I've scored 44 Premier League goals. Which is your favourite and why? Oh, easy question, that. Southampton away. I had a funny feeling you might say. It. <laughs> um, you, I mean, you've assisted a few, actually. And that all-important record-breaker against West Ham. Don't forget oh, that. Yeah. We spoke about that before the game yeah. as well. We spoke about you that. Said it. No, I said it the game before, remember, against Fulham, at half-time to you, and then I, I played that ball back to you and you nearly scored. Oh, yeah, straight at the start yeah, of the second half. The second half yeah, and then yeah. he didn't, and then obviously he scored in the first half to, like, match it. Yeah, yeah. And then the second half, no, the second, the next game was West Ham, and I must have said to him before the game, oh, I want this, I want this assist, you know, because obviously they, it will be played for years, and you know, like <laughs> Premier League years and that, so I was like, I want this assist. Every time someone put him through, I was like, nah, not this one. <laughs> um, but no, as soon as I got into that position and and I played him, and I knew he was onside. I knew he was onside. Um, I knew he was going to score. Yeah, either that one or the, or the Southampton one. I like that one because obviously the finish as well was was top. So, If you could have one of my footballing attributes, what would it be? Yeah, easy, the, the ball control and the, the touch. You know, every time he gets the ball, he never loses it, so would easily be be that. And also, every time he has the ball, it looks like he's going to maybe lose it or they're going to tackle him, and then he just <laughs> touch the ball away and they tackle him. <laughs> it's also a good thing. I think I could use that really good uh, in my game especially. Last season, we both scored away at Arsenal, but whose goal was better? I've got to say, his mom's going straight to the keeper. <laughs> <laughs> no, mine. Um, you got yeah, you know what? I, yeah, I needed some luck actually in front of goal, so obviously I just shot, and then uh, Tommy Asu, I think, it hit off him, and um, and it went over Ramos. But at the time, I generally didn't know it took a deflection because I think I shot, and I'm looking down at the floor, and then by the time I've looked up, it's already took the deflections. Do you know what I mean? Um, 
but yeah, I'd have to say holes because yeah, because of the deflection. But no, it was um, it was a great game, man. I like that game. What are your best characteristics on and off the pitch? Uh, best on and off the pitch. Uh... I think he's got many, but I, I think one thing that stands out for me is like on the pitch is what I think so good about him is he could miss like three or four chances and. You know, the ninety-nine percent of footballers would like, you know, like go into a shell a little bit, and or like, you know, there's there's probably like a handful of of football, like Ronaldo, for example. You know, Ronaldo could miss three, four chances, but it's still getting them positions, and and he won't be afraid, you know, to take another chance or take another shot. Whereas some people would be like, like I says, you know, go into a shell a little bit and think, oh. and that's why I think. Would you yeah, agree with that, so like many. that mental resilience? Nice, nice words. Uh, I don't know. I try to be. I just try to to be myself at all times. You know, when you, of course, when you come into a new club, it's everything is different. The people are different, and everything. Uh, so, but I think if you just are yourself, everything will get a smooth like entrance and everything. And uh, this is also what I do now. You know, and also to be in an environment where you can be yourself is also really important. So. Uh, so uh, yeah, off the pitch, uh, a relaxed person that that just wants to to smile as much as possible and enjoy my life. Basically, that's a good one. How much banter have you had with your Arsenal England teammates about winning the league? So let's take an example. After you after you won the after you won the treble, you you went to a national team. After I won it or before? For after it was still um. Just still a bit, a uh, bit of a sore point for him, I think. Um, so you didn't want to say yeah, too much. Yeah, I didn't want to say too much. And then before, when we were like, let's say, five points behind them, they didn't want to speak much about nah. it. Nah, I remember Odegaard as well was a little bit like, uh, not speak. They probably got told by Arteta or something not to, not to speak too much with them. Yeah, I remember something. in the March camp, me and yeah, me the and, March one, me and Walks, we just kept saying to Sachs. Like shaking his hand, and he was like, "What are you shaking my hand for?" He was just like, "Well done, you've already won the league." <laughs> <laughs> um, How did he take that? No, he was just laughing. It's like you know, because at the time, like obviously, you know, we played him this weekend. I'm not going to be messaging him Saturday night trying to banter him because that's when you, you know, you're in your own zone and you're in your own space, and you know, you take stuff seriously. But in the time, Erling would tell you. I'd, like a laugh and a joke and stuff, and I do it with everyone here. Um, but yeah, no, obviously I get on really well with like Sax and you know, obviously Declan's there now. Um, so yeah, there's always like when we're away, we, there's always like time for banter and stuff. But yeah, me and Walks were just saying to him like, "Congratulations, mate, you've won the league, blah blah." And he was just like, "Going shut up." He's like, "Stop trying to get in my head." Um, do you think at making that joke was that reflective of the fact you and Kyle knew? that you were going to turn this round, this was going to be your title? No, not that we knew. No, we were just doing it really as like banter. We, we knew we didn't win the title because we were saying this. Do you know what I mean? I just knew that... I don't know about you, but I knew that the, 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 by the time we played them at the Etihad, if we were like two points behind them or three points behind them, but had better goal difference. So technically, like if we win that game, we go above them. I knew we would have won the league if that made sense. And I, I kind of just knew that we were going to be um, at the Etihad yeah. without sounding yeah, yeah. like bad. Yeah. I just, I feel like for me, won. yeah, for me it was the uh, the Liverpool game at home. I was on the the tribune. I was so nervous, but I knew they went to one 0 up. But I knew if we win this, then we're gonna win it. That was, I think, that was the first game after March. First game, yeah, after the after the after the international, yeah. And what, then I kind of was that knew. more to do with what you were going to do or what you thought Arsenal might do? No, like, I just knew us because I just I could just feel you as well. You could just feel that, you know. Ooh, we we, went, we came into games and you just knew we were going to win. We were still a fair bit though. Was that like yeah. six points? Yeah, yeah. I something? think it was like still five points or something. But again, you know, we we just had the momentum and we just knew that. We we're gonna win games and everything, and we went on the run as well. You know, yeah. we see me. I was a bit different. I, I just because I thought oh, these aren't gonna lose here, 
and I'm sure we were like six, seven points. So I was just thinking if we can get to before that Arsenal game and we're three points behind them, because we always had better goal difference than them. And then really, if you win that game, it's yours to lose there. Mm. I just knew if we got to that point before that game and it was three points or two points, or whatever it was, I knew we were going to win that. And then I knew it was ours to lose. And I, I thought, yeah, we're going to win this. Well, last season, you had the perfect season. What's next? Good question. Nice. Oh, I'm asking him this wonderful. Well, what can I say? I, uh, I uh, will do my best to do uh, good this season again. And uh, we won the treble. Uh, we know how it feels. So uh, the feeling was quite good. Uh, so uh, we will do everything we can again to try to re recreate some some of these the same moments are you gonna score more goals i think that would be quite difficult but <laughs> why not try more than 50 what was it in premier league no nah, everything uh 52. 52. it's all right that, isn't it? <laughs> i think that's better than my old career tally including training <laughs> <laughs> nathan aki can play the piano Manuel Akanji is a math genius. Oh, no, what's coming on right there? I can drive a tractor. So, Jack, what is your secret you, talent? You're a tractor driver, yeah. Of course, I'm a farmer. <laughs> do you have any secret talents that we don't know about? Nah, do you know what? Yeah, I said this not long ago. I'm, I'm so I'm rubbish, man, at learning stuff. Like, I find it so hard to learn. Like anything. Like I tried to speak Spanish and that, but I give up after about... Uh, it was two days, I think. Yeah. That was two days. <laughs> <laughs> two days, I think, I give up. I think I learned one word, come and start. I think it's the only one that I can remember. There's so many people, because I said it in a press conference or something, so many people come up to me and go, That's... even family members, like, how's the Spanish going? I'm like, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Um, I don't even know, you know, honestly. I couldn't... Alan, can you help at all? Is there anything that you've seen Jack do that you think the general public doesn't know about that? No, honestly, I don't think so. <laughs> Just keep it PG as well. <laughs> you always look so calm and composed, but what is your greatest fear or phobia? Uh, uh... Can't say spiders or something, can they? Yeah. You can't is even... There, is there... You can't be scared yeah, of a spider. Yeah, is there any insects, animals, heights? I'm really curious and interested to know about uh, the sea. I'm a bit scared of like deep down the sea. Nah, but a sea, you don't know what's around you, do you? Yeah. I jumped in the sea, me in the barn, I come up here, yeah, and then my, f my family and that were on the, on the boat, and they were like, oh, I look next to me, and I look next to me, and there was some big octopus <sighs> right here, like massive. <laughs> I ate rats, me. If I seen one of them in my house, I'd move out. Me, cro crocodile, I don't like as well. Right. So Alligator. It's, so it's kind of anything underwater, the, the unknown there, the yeah, creatures yeah, yeah. you might find. And for you, Jack, rats. Yeah, rats. And I don't really like heights either. <laughs> it probably does sound a bit stupid, the fact that I live on the 34th floor, but <laughs> um, obviously I know I'm inside, innit? Like, if I was, like, yeah, yeah. standing on, a, on the edge of something or if I was standing there and there was, like, just over a balcony I'm, and I was that high, nah. Nah. No, I love that. I love heights. Jumping parachutes, I want to See, do after my career. Yeah. So you like jumping out of planes, scared uh, the ocean, I wouldn't lie. Well, first you thing hate I'm heights. Do, oh. First thing I'm going to do after career. <laughs> what, skydive? Yeah, first thing. <laughs> I'm going to ski in me. Right, I think that brings us to the end of our questions. So I'm sure you felt like you know each other quite well, but that bit better now? Yep. Yeah. I don't know what I could scare him with in the future. <laughs> yeah, we've given you some ammunition I'll well, just come into training one day with a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for your time uh, and good luck this weekend against Arsenal. Thank you. Thank you.